What's up everybody? You know what? I'm grabbing me a piece of this coffee cake too. How you guys doing today? Welcome back to another episode of Camping with Coleman. It's going to be a little different today. I am a little uh, irritated. I just, I'm working on the Land Rover. If you guys are following uh, my social media stuff today, you will see what I'm talking about. Um, I'm posting up pictures of this Land Rover LR3 that I'm working on. Uh, sorry, it's I don't have any of the lights on or anything in here. It's probably probably gonna be a little dark and I'm looking a little rough, ain't I? Yeah, well, mm. that's because I've been up all night. Not all night, but most of the night. Working on RCs. Woo -wee! And I'm even eating on camera. That's pretty rude. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, I want to eat more. Gosh, my wife made this coffee cake. It's just ridiculous. Um, we're going this Land Rover, and it is just not really going so sweet for me. Uh, it's a pretty cool build, pretty cool setup. It is a Rar Star, Raw Star, Raw Star, LR3 Land Rover body. It's a uh, Axial STX10 chassis. I didn't buy it that way. Um, I got it off a buddy of mine, and um, he, it's, he had built it already uh, in his own way, and uh, I'm rebuilding it in my way, and um, man, it's a lot of work. <laughs> but anyways, I want to give you guys a little update on this thing, show you what I'm working on. It looks really cool on camera and picture and stuff, but it is pretty rough, so I'll show you here what I have done. All right, one second, I got to take one more bite of this. is just so good, man. What? It's good. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so here it is. This is the Land Rover LR3. Uh, it's a uh, raw star body, uh, Land Rover Discovery 3 body. It's pretty cool in the fact that like the doors open, uh, the hood opens, things like that, right? Um, pretty cool. The rear hatch even opens up like this. Pretty cool stuff. Um, it's, it's something new to me. I've never had one of these bodies before. I mean, I've had this one for years now, but I've never actually done a whole lot to it. I started working on it once and then just kind of put it back on the shelf, called her, called her quits. And, uh, I'm about to get back to it. My buddy, uh, Mr. Range Rover 1996. Oh, well, he used to be Mr. Range Rover 1996. He, uh, is rebranded now as RC Short Films. He is going to be here at my house in the ESPRC studio um, here very shortly, less than a week. And uh, I want to have something up his alley, you know. I want to have something that he is used to. And he likes Land Rovers and Range Rovers and, you know, all the, the Rover vehicles. And, uh, you know, I'm a Jeep guy, but just out of respect, I'm going to try to get this going. So I got something to wheel with him. Now, the body's not mounted, as you can see. You can go ahead and pull it off. Oh yeah, set her, set her aside there. And you can see what I got underneath here. Um, it is rebuilt. This isn't how I got it. Uh, this is an Axial SEX10 chassis set um, that I have kind of modified and used different brackets and pieces of plastic. A lot of stuff's not even bolted in place right now, uh, so don't don't go judging me yet. Stuff like this, you can see that's crooked. That's because that's not even bolted in. Um, there's a lot of things I need to go through and do. It's got wood screws in it still that I'm removing slowly, things like that. Uh, when I first got it, it had a wooden chassis with this aluminum brace thing here on it. It kind of worked like this. It, uh, it went like that, and then like that. And, um, it just... Yeah, it wasn't going to work for me like that. So what I did was pulled it all apart, used uh, these SCX-10 frame rails. I hollowed out this piece here. It's just a regular tranny mount, but I got it. You know, I needed to get this down as low as I can to get this body on there. And then uh, this right here is uh, 
one of the RC four wheel drive planetaries, and it's just got a few pieces of aluminum, but there's still, you know, it's got the wrong screws and stuff in it. That's how it was when I got it, and I just kind of rebolted that to my new setup. So all that stuff's gonna go away. I'm gonna put Team K and K hardware in it. Uh, I've got some new parts here because it also has some blown gears, which you can hear, and. Uh, I've got it disconnected right now so it really sounds blown, but I just pulled this off, the back case here, and found this is uh, jumping around, right? And if you look close, you'll see it's, there we go, it's got a screw through it to lock it up. Um, just, yeah, I'm going to go through, I'm going to beef this thing up, it's definitely, definitely in need of some loving, and uh, it'll get all new gears here, I got these. Uh, and from Asia Tees, if you guys aren't familiar with Asia Tees, check them out. Um, they sent me some new gears here to get it going. I got some uh, new um, CVDs. These right here are going to be awesome. These will replace the uh, current Junko mismatched dog bones that are in there right now. And then I also got a whole new... Uh, Basically, it's like the uh, cases for the differentials, so new differential cases, because as you can see, these are all hacked and beat, and like, I'm not really sure what was going on here, but I'm going to go ahead and replace all these and make the proper cuts and stuff so it'll look nice and clean and factory when I'm all done. And then I'll repaint it all nice and black so that everything looks good. And uh, I'll update you guys on that here after I get her going. Hopefully everything will work out and this will be on the road uh, before my buddy, I don't know if, yeah, I guess I could probably say his name. He's all over Facebook. My buddy Andy, Mr. Uh, Range Rover 1996, a.k.a. RC Short Films. Um, it's hard for me to get used to that because I've been calling him Mr. Range Rover 1996 for like, uh, years and years and years and you know so it takes me a little while to get used to it but if you guys want uh, just click the link down in the description I'm gonna put a link in there and uh, you guys can go check his channel out make sure you subscribe to it and give him some support he's uh, been putting in work for a long time definitely deserves a, a shout out you know so alright you guys thank you very much for tuning in checking out this episode and um, I will be back with you uh, here shortly with an awesome montage video and more updates on these builds so all right talk to you guys here soon don't worry lots more trailing videos and stuff are coming not just working on these i'm gonna have some actual trailing videos here soon all right you guys peace chick grease thanks for watching